Every morning at Chimp Haven, the National Chimpanzee Sanctuary in Keithville, the chimpanzees get up with the sun. How they choose to spend their day is their choice, but most prefer to start it with a good breakfast. Care staff address all of the chimpanzees by name showing them respect and reverence. Most of them have spent years living in the restrictive world of medical laboratories, some as many as four decades, where they had virtually no freedom of choice. They couldn't choose what to eat, they couldn't choose where to go, they can't choose who to be with, um, or who even comes to take care of them, or at some levels even how they can interact. Their environment is so restricted that their choices are almost totally limited. I think he maybe had seen some chimps when he was real little because he does have a few. Dr. Linda Brent is the president of Chimp Haven. Working as a behaviorist at a biomedical laboratory in Texas, she saw the need for a place like Chimp Haven, where chimpanzees no longer needed for research, could choose to live in social groups and take some control over their lives. A significant number of the older chimpanzees were infected with HIV or hepatitis in the quest for life-saving human vaccines. In the process, their health has been seriously compromised. Like all of the chimpanzees at Chimp Haven, Henry has been introduced to a social group. The transition has been difficult for him, but another chimpanzee, Paul, has helped him adjust. It wasn't so long ago that Paul, who is missing a leg, arrived at Chimp Haven from a laboratory. His best friend of 10 years had died just before he arrived. Paul was actually very depressed. In that situation, the best thing is another chimpanzee for, for a chimpanzee. And we introduced him to John. And that was probably one of my favorite introductions because the difference in Paul within 15 minutes time was amazing. Paul and John began to play. A lot of people don't know that chimpanzees laugh. They were laughing, they were chasing each other um, around in, in the area where we did the introduction. And I think any of the staff members that were here at that time were quite amazed at the difference in Paul in just a short period of time. The chimpanzees at Chimphaven have given so much to all of us, to every single one of us through the medical research and the breakthroughs that they've been involved in to help humans. It really seems not only right, but our responsibility to give them back something at this stage in their life and let them retire in a nice environment like Chimphaven.